Hello, YouTubers. I hope if you're watching this video, you are well and in good spirits. I took the time to reiterate the definition of real cryptic pregnancy and also break down the magical pregnancy the diluted cryptic pregnancy community has created and believes in in my last video entitled Cryptic Pregnancy Misconceptions of Doppler Use Interruption of Interpretation. So take a peek at that if you're looking for a definition or difference between the two. In this video, we are going to take a good hard look at how ultrasounds work, how accurate they are, and possible causes of interruption in interpretation. The women in the cryptic pregnancy community claim their baby swims away or can make itself quote unquote unseen during a ultrasound. A baby hiding or swimming away during ultrasound. Where is this baby going? How does this baby have the ability to make itself invisible to an ultrasound machine? Why only your baby or this baby? If baby is in fact in your uterus inside, inside an amniotic sac, how is it anatomically possible for a baby to go behind any organ in your body for the entire remainder of the pregnancy and still progress? So now that we've asked these very important questions, let's take a good hard look at how an ultrasound really works. Ultrasound waves are produced by a transducer, which can in both admit ultrasound waves as well as detect the ultrasound echoes reflected back. When used in an ultrasound scanner, the transducer sends out a beam of sound waves into the body. The sound waves are reflected back to the transducer by boundaries between tissues in the path of the beam. For example, the boundary between fluid and soft tissue or tissue and bone. When these echoes hit the tran transducer, they generate electrical signals that are sent to the ultrasound scanner. Using the speed of sound and the time of the echo's return, the scanner calculates the distance from the transducer to the body tissue's boundary. These distances are then used to generate two-dimensional images of tissues and organs. During an ultrasound exam, the technician will apply a gel to the skin. This keeps air pockets from forming between the transducer and the skin, which can block ultrasound waves from passing into the body. What is an ultrasound used for? Ultrasounds are used to diagnose because they are non-invasive they non-invasively image internal organs within the body. They can also, under some conditions, ultrasounds can image bones such as in a fetus or in small babies or in the lungs or lining of the lungs when they are filled or partially filled with fluid. One of the most common uses of ultrasounds is during pregnancy to monitor the growth and development of the fetus. But there are many other uses including imaging the heart, blood vessels, eyes, thyroid, brain, breasts, abdominal organs, skin, and muscles. Ultrasound images are displayed in either 2D, 3D, or 4D, which is 3D in motion. Another function form of ultrasound is elastography, which can be used to test for liver fibrosis. Are there any risks? Diagnostic ultrasound is generally regarded as safe and does not produce ionizing ionizing radiation like that produced by x-rays. Still, ultrasound is capable of producing some biological effects in the body under specific settings and conditions. For this reason, the FDA requires that diagnostic ultrasound devices operate within acceptable limits. The FDA, as well as many professional societies, discourage the casual use of ultrasound for example, for keepsake videos, and recommend that it only be used when there is a true medical need. The reason why I mention this is because a lot of women in the diluted cryptic pregnancy community have will continue to get several ultrasounds trying to prove and confirm their pregnancy. And a few of them have actually bought ultrasound machines and have them in their house and they give themselves um, ultrasounds. So that's why I am covering this is because it is discouraged, um, the casual use of an ultrasound mas machine is discouraged and recommended that it only be used when there is a true medical need. So how accurate is an ultrasound? Well, in pregnancy, 
When an ultrasound for pregnancy is performed, they are looking for any signs of life. They look for your fundus, placenta or yolk sac, fetal pole, amniotic sac, umbilical cord, amniotic fluid, a heartbeat, the size, position, and thickness of the uterus and uterine lining. They also take a peek at your ovaries to see if you've recently ovulated and look at your fallopian tubes to check for any blockages, problems, or damage as well as check for a pregnancy outside of the uterus. They are also checking for signs of recent miscarriage or a recent non-viable pregnancy. The ultrasound results are evaluated by the ultrasound technician and then the results are reviewed by the doctor. If both professionals agrees, if both professional agrees on the findings or lack thereof findings, and in, in and if none of these vital signs of life or recent life are found during your ultrasound, you are not pregnant. There are two types of ultrasounds generally used to visualize a pregnancy: a transvaginal ultrasound in which a probe is inserted into the vagina to gain proximity to the womb, and an abdominal ultrasound which is placed on the mother's abdomen. Both are useful procedures for various circumstances and have their place in prenatal care. The transvaginal ultrasound accuracy. The transvaginal ultrasound produces clear images of the fetus and uterus and surrounding structures that help doctors confirm the presence of a pregnancy, establish a pregnancy timeline and gain insight into the health of the pregnancy. Confirming the location of a pregnancy and ensuring it is not an ectopic pregnancy. A transvaginal ultrasound can detect a heartbeat with very, very high accuracy as early as six or seven weeks into the pregnancy. A transvaginal ultrasound finds a heartbeat fairly easy, usually between six and seven weeks of gestation. An abdominal ultrasound will find the baby's heartbeat roughly one week later or between seven and eight weeks of gestation. And a handheld Doppler ultrasound device may not be able to find a heartbeat until as late as 12 weeks. Abdominal ultrasounds are generally very effective after eight weeks gestation. One recent study found that 98% of the time the ultrasound tech correctly predicted the gender of the baby. Still, the accuracy of your individual ultrasound will depend on a number of factors, including timing of the ultrasound. The earlier the ultrasound is done, the more accurate it is at estimating the baby's due date and finding the baby. Ultrasounds performed during the first 12 weeks of pregnancy are generally within three to five days of accuracy. The most accurate time is between eight and 11 weeks gestation. The farther along you get in your pregnancy, the bigger the baby gets, making it less likely for the ma mach machine, the technician, and the doctor to make a mistake or miss baby altogether. One second. Okay, my youngest woke up from his nap. Hopefully he'll go back to sleep. Um, so the farther along you get in your pregnancy, the bigger the baby gets, making it less likely for the machine, the technician, and the doctor to make a mistake or miss the baby altogether. The accuracy of the ultrasound increases as gestational age advances, says Bart Putterman, MD, an OBGYN at Texas Children's Pavilion for Women in Houston. This means the accuracy of finding the baby increases as the gestational age advances. It is important to note that ultrasounds done to estimate size and weight are just that, an estimate. They are often off by one to two pounds and should not be held as definitive. Your baby's position. If your little one doesn't cooperate during your ultrasound, you may not get that boy or girl determination until he or she arrives. But your baby's position does not affect finding the baby on an ultrasound. It only affects determining the sex. Carrying multiples. If you're carrying twins or triplets or more, your babies could hide their siblings, making determination of the sex for each baby more difficult. The occurrence of a technician overlooking not only one, but two or three babies during a dating scan is almost non-existent. Some women have gone in for their first ultrasound and baby is found, and the next ultrasound, twins are found, meaning they missed one baby during the first ultrasound, but they still originally found a baby. And then your body size. If you're plus size, that additional body mass can prohibit clear image of your baby. 
Determining a fetus's sex on ultrasound is certainly more difficult in women who are oversized or obese, says Dr. I'm going to pronounce this wrong. Haka Haka says, however, the baby will still be found if it in fact exists. And the bigger baby grows, the easier he or she is to find. If you go in for an ultrasound and a baby is not found, it is because the echo that is reflected back to the transducer is lacking a fetal structure structure to reflect back and produce an image. If the only thing you see is your uterus, it is because your uterus is clear and empty and there is no fetus. Because ultrasounds are used for diagnostics, they have to be accurate. And here are some um, accuracy and diagnostics. And then I will include a few, few video links in my description explaining in more depth about how an ultrasound works. And then I wanted to um, briefly cover the possible complications of not knowing you are pregnant or knowing you are pregnant and not receiving prenatal care. The possibility of birth defects, blood type incompat incompatibility between you and baby, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, and preeclampsia. An ultrasound is so accurate that it can perform fetal scanning, access placental and fetal circulations. It is so accurate that it can show fetal tumors. It can give a visualization of intrauterine growth restriction. It can show fetal oxygen, visualization of fluid movements. It can show a normal heart and examine an abnormal heart and also the differential diagnosis of a tricuspid regurgitation. An ultrasound can confirm a pregnancy as early as five weeks. A baby can only move so far when trying to swim away from the probe. There are only so many obstacles in the female body that can be in front of the baby blocking the view. The reason an ultrasound is so accurate is mainly because the uterus grows up out of the pelvic region, pushing intestines out of the way, and eventually the uterine wall is up against the abdominal muscles. If you see movement on the outside of your belly, baby is close enough to the surface to make that impression. If that is the case and baby is big enough to be felt during movement on the outside of the belly or recorded, then baby should be found on ultrasound very easily because that means the baby, the amniotic sac, and the uterine wall are up against the abdominal muscles. This is why such a clear image can be produced on an ultrasound because nothing is in the way of viewing baby. And this is just a little picture here where you can see the uterine wall. Oh, sorry. You can see the uterine wall is up against the abdominal muscles. And that is why an ultrasound is so accurate. I do hope this video helps somebody helps clarify some things. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see future videos, don't forget to subscribe. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye.